Now there is a very good reason I don't do more large format photography. You see the problem is the Britain is not exactly a country known for its calm weather, its beautiful blue skies. It's always blowing a gale and raining and when you do get it bright and sunny you have to be out quick before it's gone again so I need to make the most of that which is why I typically shoot with 35mm and 120 roll film cameras. I have had a bit of a hiatus for 18 months now with my large format kit and I've decided to give it a run out again because I have some specific ideas where I think it could really work well for me. Now let's get on with the, uh, the actual shoot, no waffle for a bit. I have got myself set up with my standard lens, 150mm, and I am shooting something very subtle, very simple. It's just a, a young sapling growing in front of some larger trees, but the sapling is very, very bright, the leaves are very, very green and they're standing out, and it's caught my eye. Now, having said all that, it is breezy today. It's actually been blowing a gale. Uh, it's non-stop blowing a gale at the moment. So I've had to go for a relatively fast film, a HP5 Plus, to freeze the motion of the sapling and the small branches. Now, even this won't be good enough. So I've had to rate the film at 400. I would normally rate it about 200 because I get a lot more shadow detail, a lot nicer tonality, but I just need the speed. So I'm getting half a second at F22. Now that F22 is not going to get everything in focus. I have focused in on the branch of the sapling, the main, the main branch, and I want that sharp. I want that to be the focal point. The background will fade out gradually, possibly a bit more than I'd like. I don't know. I can't see clearly under the dark cloth, but that's the compromise we're going to have to go for. That's what you get shooting large format. So metering with a Zirconic, I have some very dark background tree trunks. Now I have metered off those. I don't want those going inky black. So. I want some detail in those tree trunks, so I just need to take a reading with my trusty Seconic 508. Now I'm going to go for half a second at f22 with no filters. No filters because I need the film speed, I can't even afford to lose one stop with a yellow filter. And I think I'll do one at a second after that. Now the reason for the one at a second is I want a ton of shadow detail. If I can pull it out later, it'll make a much nicer print. I could go a bit slower, I could go to a quarter of a second, but then all the dark areas and the shadows and the branches are going to merge together and I won't be able to do anything in post-processing, not even in Lightroom. Now with all my large format shots I always test the shutter first by cocking it and firing it while the film slide is still in. Okay, so I've cocked the shutter, test firing at one second, I know it's all working, do it again. Yep. That's right, so now I'm just going to wait for everything to settle down. Then I'm going to pull the dark slide on the film and take the actual exposure. And hopefully it won't be too long till this wind abates somewhat. Because at the moment I'm going to get a very blurry shot. Nearly, nearly, nearly. Come on, fingers crossed. No, it's picked up again. Nope, too much wind. Got it. Well, I hope I got it anyway. Now I am really pleased with the way this one turned out. I absolutely love the composition, the balance of the sapling on the right hand side, much brighter than the background which recedes beautifully and that other tree is there in the background to balance that foreground element and there's all this fine twigs and detail going on throughout there which is perfect for the large format camera now as you can see as we zoom in the detail uh, sorry the focus fades away as i said it would even though i was using a relatively small aperture this is 4x5 photography and i couldn't have held it all in focus but i think that just helps accentuate the foreground and makes it stand out even more. I am really pleased with this shot. Now, I have actually seen another composition within five yards of here. And bearing in mind, I've been walking around for two hours this morning in the forest, trying to line something up. I'm quite excited to get two things close together. And I think they're actually quite complementary too. 
Well, I know I said I was going about five yards. I've actually got about five feet because the shot I saw previously wasn't so strong. So I've decided to work on the same sapling as I did earlier, but from a much lower angle and with a different framing in the background. So again, my 150 millimeter lens, I'm settling for F22 again because it's the shutter speed issue. I could go for F32 or even 45, but it's gonna be blurred. There's still too much wind. Even F22 is likely to be movement in there. I might even wait till it actually gets to be really gusty and take one of the frames of my two shots in the film holder while it's moving around to get some movement in there. It's possibly worth experimenting with. Well, I'm down to my last frame now, my last sheet. Uh, wind has picked up again. Got the shot at half a second. I think I might have got that. Um, yeah, I think it's reasonably still. I'm actually tempted to do it a quarter of a second. I did say the light had come up a little bit more. Quarter of a second though. I'm gonna start sacrificing those shadow details. It's such a trade-off, this large format photography. Well, let's not beat about the bush. This is an awful shot. It's an awful composition and I don't like the way I've arranged the elements. I'm not particularly interested in the exposure, the detail, the background elements. There's a little bit of sky in there. It's no good at all. Having said that, the first shot more than makes up for this. This was just a possible bonus. It didn't take me any extra real effort to get it. It was worth taking, but uh, definitely not going in the portfolio. I've been thinking for many months now where large format could fit into my photography, what it really suits. And I have come to the conclusion many months ago that the forest, my local landscape, is where it's best suited. You see, this sort of landscape is very static. It's somewhere I can come to many, many times. It's changing subtly over the years, but my frequency of visits means that I can take the best of it each time. I can come back to the same location time and time again. I have a favorite troublesome tree, which I'm working on. So perhaps this is somewhere to hone my large format skills. And the other thing on a technical note, I would actually say that this sort of forest photography with its massive detail and huge tonal variations from the deep shadows to the bright highlights is somewhere where large formats really does shine. I don't particularly like 35 millimeter film in this type of situation. It just hasn't got the resolution. So hopefully you'll see more of the forest with me this year. Not just the four by five, but I think also the eight by 10. I can see many situations where on a calm day, I could break out the very big camera and get some very interesting shots. But for now, that's all I've got. So thanks for coming along on the trip. I'll see you again soon.